hello everyone uh, so like i mentioned before we will be starting off with the first live session for this workshop which is all about <coughs> django installation and the environment setup right i guess we have as many people as is possible uh, and we can start now so uh, good to know that quite a few folks have already installed <coughs> the anaconda installation or the anaconda python environment uh, we start off with uh, me trying to explain what what a django environment is or what a python environment is so uh, if you if you all observed any sort of software in python usually has import statements uh, and Uh, with the import statements what you are doing is you are trying to import a third party package into your program right to be able to import the third party package you first need to install it on your system uh, by installing you uh, you are sort of downloading it setting it up on your machine and you can then use it in your code uh, these are what are called these installed packages are what are called modules in python so you install a python module locally and Uh, you can then use it in your code right uh, so generally what happens is if you're not using python virtual environment uh, they are called virtual environments for a reason if you're not using a python virtual environment then you are most probably going to be installing everything on your local machine in a specific folder in your uh, in your system right uh I'm not sharing my screen as of now. I'm just explaining a few things before we start sharing screen. So don't worry, you're not missing out on anything. Uh, back to what virtual environments are. Uh, once you install the Python module, it is basically downloaded and installed in a specific internal path within your system. If you're installing it directly into your system, there's a default path that Python has already specified where your packages or your modules will be installed. right but it so happens that usually uh you are working on more than one project at a time if you are working on more than one project at a time it is very likely that you have more than one kind of installer module that you need so you're going to have one project which has modules a b and c you can have a second project which has modules b c and d so you can have something in common and something that are different uh in order to be able to control and isolate these modules and their installation so what a virtual environment in on your system does is that it allows you to isolate your module installation into different uh, bins or different areas so that they don't mix with each other uh complexity usually arise if there are common modules in two different projects uh there could also be complexity due to versions of a module so module could have more than one version which is active so uh um, one project could be using version 1 of module b a second project could be using version 2 of module b and because of this you do not want uh you do not want the same module in the same place and you do not want this mix up happening where both your uh, you know projects are using the same version etc right so you want to be able to separate them properly which is why you use a virtual environment i will now start sharing my screen so virtual environment can be run all anaconda on your machine what happens is uh, anaconda also gives you the virtual environment setup automatically right uh, so you don't have to do any funny business or Uh, installations on your own to set up a virtual environment anaconda sets it up for you on its own uh for folks who have installed anaconda can you please go to your if you're using windows you can go to your start menu type in anaconda in the search bar and you should be able to open uh, uh the anaconda navigator if you search for anaconda you should get an option called anaconda gui anaconda launcher or anaconda navigator this should this should open a screen like this uh opening it up takes a few minutes because it's a large software package 
it's a large software uh, suite so uh, please be patient go to your start menu type in anaconda search for it find out something called anaconda launcher or anaconda navigator and open it up and you should be able to see a screen like this uh, with anaconda navigator written on top home environment etc on the left i just keep a watch on the chat inside so that i can see if people are able to do this uh, in case you are not able to open please just let us know and we can try to help uh, once you are done opening please wait i have not given any more instructions as long as i have not given any instructions beyond that point please just follow along and wait at that point do not ask what to do next open your anaconda navigator let it take a few minutes to open and wait and confirm in chat whether you can see this kind of a screen i will wait for someone to say yes or no uh, because i need to make sure that uh, you folks can are able to open right mm, cool i guess a few people have been able to open and are able to uh, launch anaconda so folks you need to open it up on your own computer as well not just see my chat screen so for folks who already opened it up you can see that there is an environment tab on the left the environment tab when once you click on it it will show you something called base or root in brackets and then it will show you a lot of packages on the right right so click on environments do not change anything just look at the screen it shows you something called base base is the existing default environment that you get along with the anaconda installer you do not need to create a specifically new environment you can if you want to uh, it allows you to create new environment but for this purpose at this moment uh, we do not need a new uh, environment i am just showing you what an environment means and what it looks like in the anaconda ui so this is what an environment is it has an arrow on the right and then it has a lot of list of these names on the on the extreme right uh, these are all the packages that have been already installed in the base virtual environment so when the base virtual environment is active on your system your python uh, your python interpreter or your python program will be able to access all these packages it will be able to import all these packages so i i remember someone using the matplotlib package sometime back earlier in the in the workshop so that is because matplotlib is already available in this list uh, so you can see that matplotlib shows up when i search for it in this list right so all of these packages are installed by default and given to you by default by anaconda itself which is why this is the reason why we are using anaconda it gives you everything conveniently and you don't need to you know constantly install it on your own etc right now what you will be doing is you will be clicking on the arrow that is shown on the right of base and you will be opening the terminal so click on the arrow click on open terminal right i already have my terminal open which is why it it uh, shows me this uh, window uh, in your case it will open up a new uh, it will open up a new windows terminal open it up it should show you something of this kind it will show you base on the extreme left it will show you some uh, command like like you know it will show you your computer name etc in between and then it will show you a blinking cursor or a cursor on the right so please open this how do you do it uh, i close this terminal you click on the arrow you click on terminal open terminal and you should have a terminal open so you can see that this terminal window opened up right for me can you please do this and wait on the wait once the terminal window shows up and please everybody try this open this and tell me if you have done this successfully i'll wait in chat right yes okay cool now uh, to make sure that we are in the right uh, terminal and everything is working fine 
we'll try to see if python is working so you can do python hyphen python space hyphen v and sorry i give you a better command right you should type in python space hyphen hyphen version and it should give you an output of the python version that you're using this is just a command that lets you check whether your environment has the proper python version that you want or not it also gives you the uh, understanding that python is properly installed if this command does not work if this python if this command does not print out the expected result then there's something wrong with your environment or there's something wrong with your python uh, installation or there's something in this case there's something wrong with your anaconda installation for example so please type in python space hyphen hyphen version uh, and please let me know if you can see the uh, command line text right uh, so i see that a few people are able to see the text i hope that you folks have typed in the command and can get the proper output yes the output may be different mine is a older version of python you may have a higher or a more advanced version of python that is fine perfectly fine uh, the version number may differ but as long as it is python python 3. Point something is perfectly fine what else uh we will now be using something called the pip tool the pip tool the pip tool is basically a stands for package installer python package installer and what it does is it allows you to pull uh, a package from the internet and install it on your local machine so that you can have uh, you know the module available and use it in your program so like i mentioned we usually install third party packages the tool used to install this package is called the pip tool or the pip command right so to check if this command runs properly first type in pip space hyphen hyphen version i guess version is correct yes uh this should give you some something of this sort it should tell you the pip pip version again this number may be different that is perfectly fine do not upgrade do not change do not do anything just type in pip space hyphen hyphen version and wait tell me if this gives you the expected output like this it should tell you the version number of pip right okay so now that you have run these two commands that means that your environment is properly set up it has a Py, the proper python version installed it has the pip tool installed so now you can install uh you can install your django installation right uh i think yeah so i remember uh in the past there have been cases where a few folks have not been able to install python because this pip tool installs the django package in a default folder inside your c drive in a very you know secure c drive so sometimes what happens is your computer needs extra permissions to be able to install django in the requested location so for now please make sure just to avoid these problems later on can you please make sure that you have closed your terminal and your anaconda navigator go back to your start menu and open your anaconda navigator by using run as administrator option please use the run as administrator option to open your anaconda navigator i know that you already opened it up please close this terminal please close your original anaconda navigator go back to your start menu there should be an option to run it as administrator so i usually think that happens when you right click it on right clicking you can see the run as administrator option so run your anaconda navigator as administrator and then follow the steps again run your anaconda navigator as administrator go to environments tab then open the terminal so uh, i understand that this was slightly confusing but i am just trying to make sure that everybody is on the same page because uh, while installation some folks then get permission issues and then it becomes difficult to sort of manage the issues so we might as well do it here and now 
for folks who have not yet done it i'll give you maybe a minute more please close your terminal please close the terminal that you are using at the moment please close the anaconda navigator that you are using at the moment go back to your start menu search for anaconda navigator or anaconda launcher again right click open the run as administrator option and then use the anaconda navigator again environments tab click on the arrow open terminal right very simple just the steps that you followed but you now need to run your anaconda as a administrator privilege once you've done that come to this point again you don't need to run the commands again once you've done that open your terminal and wait do not move forward please open the terminal but make sure that you open your anaconda with the run as administrator option i will wait for you i will also wait for people to tell me that they've done this and that things are working fine hello am i audible yes when i try to I run it as a uh, anaconda as administrator only there is a pop up exe file and it disappears i tried it several times just a minute ah huh? uh, it is asking whether you want to update the anaconda navigator so should uh, i update you it or... you don't have to update it um, can you please just cancel that uh, option to update and see if it opens up okay unfortunately i will not be able to do the same steps on my screen because i am using an ubuntu operating system actually i am using uh, windows correct so uh, someone in chat is asking me can you please follow along the same steps on your screen unfortunately i can't do the same thing on my screen because yeah. mine is ubuntu and it's completely different so i won't be able to replicate the same scenario but uh, i i'll i'm we've been dealing with these issues for quite some time so i'm just trying to uh, repeat the steps for you verbally so that you can follow along same problem is there sir uh, only exe file is appearing and now it has opened the anaconda navigator there is some problem so, so the navigator does open up right but after uh, popping up few exe files then those exe files disappears and after some time the anaconda navigator appears i think that is expected behavior let's try installing first and see if uh, if everything goes well then you're yeah, going yeah. to go, right yes 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 uh for folks on right click no option appears uh there should be a run as administrator option on the on like on a sub menu somewhere so you can either do that you can either go to your program files in your windows explorer and then right click on anaconda from there okay uh so the run as administrator option should be available somewhere it is possible that your system you logged in as a user who does not have administrator privileges at all is that possible yes even after running after as administrator i couldn't open the terminal from base root were you able to open it earlier no but there is an option in the start menu itself anaconda prompt uh you can try that as well and let me know if that works but it should not be a python prompt it should be a regular py uh, terminal ah yes it is regular prompt uh but even then that also you'll have to run as administrator okay um cool so i guess quite a few folks have reached to a point where they have the terminal open with the administrator privileges running now what we do is we do we install the package django package itself so we type in pip space django and that's it this will install so you can there are a lot of more additional options that you can add here you can specify the version etc but we'll not go into that many details installing just typing pip sorry the command is wrong my mistake pip install space django is the correct command pip space i n s t a w l, -L space d j a n g o is the correct command pip space install space django installs the latest version of django that is available officially on the repository online right uh type this in press enter please make sure that the spellings are correct uh 
uh, Django starts with a D and it is pronounced as Django, not Django, just for your information. And once you press enter, it should install a few things. There should be some output on your screen and uh, it should say successfully installed and it will show up on my screen as well. Okay, so I already had Python installed. So let me see if I can do something that shows you how the output will look like. So please don't follow these commands. I'm just trying to set up an environment so that I can show you how it looks like, right? Don't follow these steps from now on. I'll tell you when to follow. Right. So just to show you, I see that a lot of folks have already installed stuff. Uh, but just to show you what it looks like, pip space install space Django. And when I press enter, it will give you a lot of output. A lot of folks will see a lot of things that are being done. So like you saw here, uh, it installs a lot of stuff. It will say installing collected packages. Uh, and finally, it will hopefully in in somewhere down the line it will tell you successfully installed, right? So once that is done, that means that you have your Django package installed correctly. Hello, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Uh, I am facing to get it uh, installed in the, when I try to run, uh, it is not executing. When I write uh, this uh, temp uh, hash dollar pip install D Django, it is saying the temporary is not recognized as an internal external. Correct, account. sir, because you don't have the temporary directory. I already told you, you're not supposed to follow those commands. Yeah. You're just supposed to do pip install Django. That's the only command that you need to run. So that will work on our system. In your terminal, once you open the terminal using the open terminal option, just uh -huh. type in pip space install space Django. That's the only command that you need to run. Yeah, it is working. And and you should show, it will show up something like successfully installed. People who have received this. Yes, yes. So wait for it to install. Once it is done, it will show you something called successfully installed these yeah. packages, etc. And it will also show you uh, Django as one of the packages that is installed. So the current working successful release of Django or the successful version that is available is 4.1.3. And that is what is installed in your environment at the moment. The other packages are just dependencies. They are called dependencies because Django depends on these other third party packages and they are installed automatically. You don't have to worry about them. For folks, uh, if it is taking time, uh, that will happen. Just wait, be patient. Uh, it should be, if, if it's running through, uh, it, you, you're probably going to get a successful installation. Just wait for it to complete. Uh, once this is done, you have successfully installed Django properly on your system, right? And uh, you should be able to uh, uh, run or use Django whenever you want to use it in one of your packages or create a Django app, right? A good way to test out whether, whether the package is installed is to uh, check if you can import it in a Python environment. So what you can do is wherever uh, you have, wherever you are now in your terminal, just type in Python, press enter, and you should get the Python interpreter, which is, which shows up like this with three arrows and a blinking arrow, right? If that shows up, 
type import Django and it will again show three arrows and wait for a blinking cursor. If this has happened and there is no error, there is no uh, extra text, then your Django has been installed and you are able to import it. This is just one way to check if your Django package is installed correctly. Right? You can then exit your environment using exit or exit open bracket close bracket. Sorry. Right? These commands you can follow if you want to check if Django is installed. Right? Please make sure that you exit the interpreter correctly because uh, you need to be in a terminal to run the other command. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Hi. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, once I give a PIP install Django, it shows me defaulting to user installation because uh, normal site package is not writable. So what should I do, sir? That's okay. Did it get installed? Yeah, uh, we already installed the navigator and uh, I don't no, know what Django, it means. After running pip space install Django, did it reach a point where it said successfully installed, etc, etc? Yeah, it's uh, downloading, sir. Django 4.1.3, right. it's downloading. Let it complete. Once it okay. completes, let's see if uh, Django is properly installed uh, using okay. the Python command. And then we can try to figure out if figure out what has happened, what has not happened, etc. Okay. Uh, for folks who have already reached a point where they have checked, if you have typed in Python, if you finish the import Django command, please make sure that you type exit open bracket close bracket so that you have reached the point where you are in the terminal. Do not close the terminal. Please wait in the terminal. Please just wait where you in the terminal that was opened up, just wait and wait for next steps. I'm just trying to make sure that everybody is at par here. Everybody is on the same page uh, because this is important. You need this package installed. Otherwise, you will not be able to follow along with all the live sessions that happen here on forward. For folks who are actively re sort of responding on chat, uh, it helps me understand that they they're doing something and everything is working fine. For other folks who are not responding on the chat, it is perfectly fine if you don't respond as such. But please make sure that you're following along. If you're stuck somewhere, please let us know that you're facing some issue. If you're not installed, if you don't get this installed properly at this point in time, it will be very difficult to guide you later on. And it will not be possible for us to work with you as well as take the Django workshops forward. Right? So it will cause a lot more delay. Please make sure that the installation ha has happened properly. Please make sure that you're following along. Thank you. KCM installation is not successful and showing up as an error. Uh, it's showing up as a read timeout error, which probably means that you have some error with your network. Can you please try running the pip space install space Django command again? Pip install Django, please run it again and try. If, if that doesn't work again, then we can try to see if what, what the issue is. But the fact that it tells that it's a read timeout error means that it couldn't connect to the package repository online or there was some network issue which caused it to break. Uh, for other folks for whom it is still downloading, etc., uh, the only thing that you can do right now is wait. So let's do that and make sure that everybody is at par. For other folks who already done this, uh, please wait. Do not move on or do not move ahead. Cool. Um, I'm assuming that most of the folks have this set up and downloaded. Uh, Ms. Sivranjani, did you get it installed or is it still causing a problem or can I wait for you? Uh, Sir, uh, actually it's downloading and it shows me an error uh, like uh, exception, error like exception. And uh, again, uh, it gives a message PIP version Can you, can you share your screen? Yeah, sure. So in the meantime, for folks who already have this installed, this sort of concludes the installation session for, for uh, this, uh, 
the, the installation session that we planned from 2 p.m. Uh, this is what it is. We have Django installed and set up, and you're ready to sort of start working with Django, and we'll tell you how. Uh, we have two options from here on. You could either follow the schedule and go on with the functions module that is available on Yaksh and come back here at 3.40 so that we can set up Django, um, the Django project and the Django files, files etc. Or we could continue from here on, but it will take a considerable amount of time because the Django project setup is a little long. So uh, I'll take a vote and while Sivranjan is sharing a screen, I will try to understand whether folks will want to go off complete functions module and come back or do you want to continue with the live session and set up the Django module, the Django uh, environment, the Django uh, project. Uh, now sir, actually I installed in another system, then how should I uh, share the screen with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. In that case, oh, okay. Uh, in the other system, yeah, do you have the Zoom? Could you give me any suggestion? I can only guess. But the problem is I need to understand what your error is. So can you at least take a yeah. screenshot and send me a link of your photo or something online? You can upload a photo of the screen and give me an idea of what the error is. Or maybe on that system you can join Zoom if possible. I can wait for you. Okay, one mind. thing I'll do it. Yeah, one thing I should do. Uh, that is, um, shall I show it in the video? That works as well. You keep your video on mute and just. Shall I, sir? Yes. Whether you are able to see it, sir? You know, I either have to zoom in a little more for me to make to be able to understand what is there. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sir, yeah. Could you um yeah? Could you give me any um idea or WhatsApp number? So it will be helpful to share this screen. You don't need a. You don't need to send the image to me. You can upload it to a image file sharing. How One second. I upload the images? I will give you a link where yeah. you can upload an image and share the link. Just one second. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sir, sure. So I've sent a website in the chat. Uh, can you please take a screenshot, upload the screenshot to that website and you'll get a link. Can you share that link with me in the chat? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. So for folks, I've received a lot more words to continue rather than go for content. So I will wait for Shivranjani to share her screen. And in the meantime, we'll try to see if we can uh, continue with the rest of the stuff. Right. So, uh, because we don't want anybody to fall behind, folks who are already done with this part can keep the terminal, can minimize the terminal, and you can open up. Uh, in you can go to the home tab. Okay, I'm not sharing my screen. Right. One. Let me share my screen. Hopefully, everyone can see my screen now. On the navigator, if you scroll down. There should be the option to open the spider IDE uh, because you are already familiar with the spider IDE, the lessons that you got in the Yaksh pre recorded session. Uh, you can click on launch. Spider IDE is not, you can't say that it's the best possible environment that, that's there, but it's pretty beginner friendly and has everything that is required to work with Python in one screen itself. So uh, we generally recommend that. There is also VS Code that is available in this environment itself. Um, if you want to go for VS Code, that is your completely your decision. But I recommend that Spider ID is a good place to start. It will take a few minutes to start. Please click on launch the Spider IDE and you should get this screen. And uh, you should be able to work with something. Right. So please open the Spider IDE and wait wait for my next instruction 
Okay, so Avinash asks that he already has Django print solved. Uh, do you have to do any other procedure for Anaconda to detect it? I do not believe so. As long as you have Django installed, and if you just plan to use it, that's fine. Uh, how to connect uh, your pre-installed Django and the environment that you're already using with the Anaconda environment, I'm not sure of, which is why I recommend that you follow along the instructions that were already given. Uh, if they are installed in Anaconda's base environment, then you're good, you're fine, it's okay. Hello, but, if they're in, but if they're installed somewhere else... Uh, hello, sir. Yes. Sir, I uploaded the image. Yeah, could you please see it and uh, tell me what's the issue? Ma'am, you will have to share the link with me. Otherwise, that is not a website that I control for me to be able to see your image. So please, can you share the link? It will give you a link on the bottom. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, for folks who already opened Spider, can you please let me know if Spider is open and available? Cool. So uh, basically, I asked you to open because this is the basic. Uh, uh, it has it has quite a few options. So this is how your screen will look. Um, you have your editor on the left. You have uh, a viewer view, view panel on the right top right, and you have the uh, IPython console on the bottom right. My IPython console is busted because there some, seems to be some issue with the uh, uh, Anaconda packages installed. So uh, that, that part is busted. But otherwise, uh, this is how it usually looks. You'll have an IPython prompt here. Uh, you also have a files tab on the top right panel. If you click on it, you'll see that you will have, uh, you have uh, the file browser. So you can browse, uh, open a Windows yeah. Explorer or go anywhere else. Hi, sir. Yes, hello. Sir, I'll send the link in the chat box. Sure. Just give me a minute. Okay. So, Sivranjani, the, the issue seems to yeah. be something to do with uh, your internet connection. So, I, I, I noticed that you seem to be in a, in a campus. Uh, so, one okay. possibility is either your network is too slow which is why okay. it's been downloaded in time and uh, the connection broke. So it is giving you a read timeout error. Basically the connection, your internet connection broke somewhere in between and okay. you can download it. The other possibility is that your campus has some sort of a firewall or some okay. sort of security measure because okay. of which it doesn't allow the your system to download certain files from the URL where this, these packages are hosted. Usually that is not a problem that is common, but sometimes okay. some campuses do have some security measures in place. Uh, unfortunately, I do not know if that is the case. I do not know how I can help you. Uh, you okay. can maybe try to ask someone around if there's some sort of a system admin or a technical person around. You can try to ask them. Okay. Uh, the other workaround that you can do temporarily is that you can switch mm -hmm. to a mobile hotspot just for downloading the pip install command. Connect, okay. to the, connect to the hotspot, run the pip install okay. command, and then come back to your campus network. And yeah. that could work probably. Yeah, sure, sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. For folks asking if, if you can use VS Code, yes, you can use VS Code. I don't have a problem. Um, uh, Spider ID just comes with Anaconda, so it is just more convenient. That's it. Uh, I'll share my screen again just for. Right. So uh, you have. You have your spider ID open. You have the file uh, browser open as well. And you will sort of realize why this becomes important a little later on. Now let's start by first, uh, I think Prathamesh can help me here. Prathamesh, we have to now go to the desktop, uh, desktop folder to the terminal, right? So we have to use CD slash desktop, if I'm correct. Yes, yes. Correct. CD so, uh, desktop, simply okay. CD desktop will do. CD space desktop with a capital D, right? Capital, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, for folks, 
uh, what we are doing now is we are opening your terminal window right i think you can see my screen right fine okay uh, we we need to open our terminal windows i can't do the same command here because i am on an ubuntu system the commands that i will tell you will be for windows specifically so uh, please open your terminal make sure that you are in your terminal window and type in this command cd space capital d desktop right uh so folks who are still confused you are not supposed to do by anything by opening your spider i just opened it up so that you are familiar with the interface we'll be using it a little later on uh, so that we can navigate and edit files uh, right now just move to your terminal window please type in cd space desktop and press press enter uh, i won't press enter in my case because it will not work for me but in your case it should work uh, you will now be able to see the full path of where you are located on your command prompt so it will show you something like c colon slash something something slash desktop and you should be able to know that you are on the desktop right the system cannot find the path specified in that case you yeah. are supposed to give your full desktop path yeah dir can help them list the file no uh, but arvin has a problem with Uh, the error is saying that the system cannot find the find the path specified. Same for me, sir. Actually, I am under C colon user then KKM one folder. So from there, how to go to desktop? Correct. Uh, mm. How can we go to desktop? So can can someone volunteer and share their screen, please? And we can sort of help everybody along. Somebody with the error. Somebody with the system cannot find path error. Can you please share your screen? I'll stop sharing mine. Just give me a minute. and now somebody can share their screen okay arvind has already shared this that's fine can you please maximize your uh, terminal arvind correct um right can you please type in cd space desktop and let let's see the error again just just to make sure that we are on the same a uh, capital d cd space capital d tab will help them auto complete yeah. okay. okay so that doesn't work correct can you do dir and mm-hmm. and show us where you are yes press enter okay batch is 3 uh, uh, uh. Uh, go to uh, one drive one drive yeah there is one drive folder cd uh, one drives yeah and then do cd desktop or maybe oh, uh, one drive is a new thing isn't it i think uh, yeah it was yeah it uh, i think uh, given by windows na like the space oh um, okay Um, hmm. simple thing we can hmm. do is we can right click desktop, copy the path, and place it after C. That works as well. That was going to be but my next I'm suggestion. So for folks, okay. So for folks who this path may be different for different folks. So the best that you can do is go, right click, uh, properties on, right click on a desktop properties. You see the full path. Copy paste it here, but make sure that you type in CD first. CD followed by the full path. Followed by desktop. Right. Right. So, uh, Arvind, you need to wait. Uh, everybody needs to just wait. Once they are here, please wait so that I can make sure that everybody is at the same page. Uh, believe me, it gets very, very confusing if if people are in different folders uh, later on. So, I need to make sure that everybody is on desktop. Can everybody please confirm that they have been able to run the CD space path? desktop command and everybody is on desktop how does it show up because uh, it will show up on the in your command prompt it will show up on the right saying that you are in the desktop folder right so anybody facing any problem please speak up now it will be difficult to help you along later on believe me uh, we've been through multiple workshops it gets very very confusing later on there are a lot of files folders that get created and it becomes very very confusing to navigate them there are a lot of permission issues that happen so you being on the desktop folder is important even though it may not seem like that for abhijit uh, abhijit asks me to repeat it please go to your terminal window uh, please right click on your desktop uh, first right click on your desktop uh, screen go to properties find out the path the full path of your desktop folder go back to your terminal type in cd space your path of the desktop 
and press enter you should be able to reach your desktop folder in the terminal why are we doing this because we have to be in the desktop folder but inside your terminal your terminal should be pointing to the desktop folder right somebody is saying no jayant said he he or she couldn't find the right uh, command execution uh, jayant can you please tell me what the issue is or share your screen or tell me the error or help me with something to help you uh, anyone else having the same problem you're not able to reach your desktop in your terminal please speak up now we should be able to help you at this moment uh, later on it gets difficult to sort of manage multiple issues or cases okay so no one seems to be giving me anything that i can figure out uh, abhijit still has a problem abhijit can you share your screen and we can help you out uh, in the meantime if anybody still has issues you can follow along you can see Uh, what abhijit is sharing and how he is trying to figure it out but please let us know if there is an issue okay okay uh yeah right so can you do dir you should have uh, can you please do dir and you have a folder called one drive as well so do cd space one drive slash desktop your one drive seems to have a colon or something before it yes terminal can be fun uh your flash it works let's see if it works enter and you're there cool done so uh folks can figure out what the path is by clicking on Uh, your desktop screen right clicking it clicking on properties and figuring out your own path this is the path that you walk alone i can't help you much there bad joke anyway um anyone else who's facing a problem can we move on okay mega is sharing a screen for now i'll try to see if i can Uh, I think uh, she is al uh, already in the so desktop. She is trying to show how it works. So she is she is gone to her Windows Explorer. She is right click yeah, on desktop. I am in desktop. command prompt. I am in command prompt. Correct. But since you do not know the path of your desktop, you need to open your Windows Explorer. Right click on yeah, desktop. Okay. Click on copy as path, and then go to your command prompt. Paste it there along with the cd command. Right. Yeah. 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 thank you mega what else anyone else you can help yes sir uh, i have a problem sir thank you sir please please uh, tell me where you stuck it is showing so path is not specified correct that be, that is because we somehow got the path wrong right so like i mentioned you can find out what the path of your desktop is by going to like mega showed you will have to open your windows explorer right click on the desktop on the left there will be a copy the path option click on that go back to your terminal type in cd space then paste the copied path and you should be where you want to be okay okay i guess this is a good time to move on with life uh right so uh now please understand that my my file path my file path will not be the same uh but uh, uh the commands that i run should be close by i let you know if there is something different but uh the command should be close by right so i am currently in a tmp folder which is the temporary folder for my system sorry my mistake i'll share my screen okay Right, so I have my command line open here, uh, which is my terminal. Uh, it shows that I am in a TMP folder. Uh, that is my folder. Uh, please disregard any file paths because my system is different than yours, right? But the commands are pretty much the same. So 
I let you know if there's any difference in commands, but otherwise the command should be pretty much the same, right? Uh, let's see. I I can also go to my desktop. Let's find it. Where is my desktop? So let's let's. I'm on my desktop. You're on yours. Uh, so you are in the same terminal where you install Django and have your virtual environment active, right? Your virtual environment is base. Mine is a different name. Ignore that. Now let's start off by uh, creating a new folder. So uh, I think it is made there in Windows also, right? So you can you can use make there or you can create a new folder using your UI. You can go to your you, you can go back to your desktop uh, screen. Just right click and create a new folder. I am creating a new folder from the command line. Uh, and let's say Django underscore project. Right, Django underscore project is the name of my directory. Uh, you can name it the same thing. Uh, it's more easier to sort of troubleshoot issues. I created a directory on my desktop. You need not create it via terminal. You can go to your desktop screen, right click, create a new folder, and call it Django underscore project. Can you please let me know if you've done this? Okay. So you now have a new folder. Now what you need to do is in your terminal, you can go into that folder again now by saying Django underscore project. And now you should be inside that particular folder, right? So we did this already. Uh, you use CD to Change your location. We're going to do it again. CD space uh, Django underscore project, and that should work. Sir, for Windows, it is MD to make directory. Correct. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying out the commands out loud because a lot of folks get confused with the terminal environment. Uh, right clicking on the desktop is simpler. Uh, keeps everybody sane. So, I just mentioned the easier path. Avinash, you. Should be using the terminal. Uh, yes, you need to open Anaconda Navigator as admin. Yes, correct. I think we had already been there. Right. Uh, has everybody been able to create a Django underscore project folder? And is everybody inside that folder on their terminal? Please say yes. Please. Sir. Even uh, even more interesting would be if you say no, because then I'll know what the problem is. Sir, still I am facing the problem. Okay. Uh, I cannot find the path. Sir. You cannot find the path, right? Have you created a folder in your desktop? Can you do that? No, first, sir. Please? Can you please do that? Can you go to your desktop screen, right click, create new folder, call it Django underscore project, make sure that the spelling is correct, and create a folder there. Okay, sir. Please let me know once you're done. Okay, sir. Cool. Anyone else who's facing issues with this, creating the folder and navigating to that folder in your terminal? Yes, sir. I'm created, sir. Okay. Now, once the folder is created on your desktop, just right-click that, and you should be able to see the properties or the copy copy the path option. Is there a properties option? Is there a copy the path option? Copy as path is there, sir. Correct. Use that. Cop click on that and okay, it has now copied the path into your memory. Now okay, go to your terminal, hit okay, CD, sir. space, paste the path that you have pasted. How do you paste it? I think so. You right click and it gets automatically pasted. Or you click, left click or right click. Something works. Please try. Yes, sir. It is work. Have you pressed enter? Does it work properly? And can you see the full path on your right, on your left? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can see. I can see. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jain. Mm -hmm. uh, right. So it looks like everybody is now at a point where they have their own folder on their desktop and are also using it in their terminal. Now what we are going to do is we are going to run the Python commands necessary to be able to create a Django project. 
so what is a django project a django project is a construct that creates some certain default files and folders uh the django in itself is a framework so when you say it is a framework what it does is it gives you some sort of structure uh you are supposed to follow certain rules and the certain structure and you will then be able to create an application within that structure why because uh, as a framework it is django's job to do the repetitive work for you and you do not have to worry yourself about the default repetitive work the files to be created etc you just have to worry about what business logic and code that you're going to write for your application right so the django project is a generic uh, file folder structure that is created and we'll see what files are available inside it but it is a generic default file folder structure that is created by django itself and uh, it is done like it is automatically done for you once you run certain commands and then you are going to add certain custom code to it to create your own application right so project is a container that contains all your code in one in one place right uh, any new web application that you build with django will be one single project right so any time you are starting a new django web application you are going to be starting a new django project and how will you do it you will run it by running the python paste django .py is it django admin some django admin start project i always get confused with this part django admin login okay first no need of python it's just django admin space start project space your project name so share your screen please ah i'm so sorry one second i'll share my screen and i'll also give you pointers to what kind of a project that you're following just give me a minute i'm already sharing my screen is it not visible no sir it is not uh let me open and show you and give you an idea of what kind of project we'll be doing so the project is available here uh, i'll share the link in the text but just give me a minute stop okay. right so uh for you to be able to follow along we are actually going to be building a library management application a web application that is sort of used for managing a library a collection of books who the books are being issued to etc so uh, we have already created the structure of the a working project and it is available on this link this is a github link you can click on the download option you can click on the code option and then click on download zip to get all of the code in one go what i recommend is you do not do that now you can do it after the workshop after two days of the workshop just to have a look at how the full application looks like and what kind of code how how we write out the code do not do it now i'm just giving you access to the link so that you are aware of that, that that this link exists so we'll be following this uh this naming convention and this folder structure right so we have since you're building a library management app we'll be calling the project library_management we be calling it library underscore manager okay so when we are starting the project what will it be called it be called library underscore management right so the command is django hyphen admin space start project space library underscore management now i'll run this command at this moment just to show you what it looks like but i'll also paste the command in zoom please do not make spelling mistakes i'm not going to entertain anyone who comes to me saying that the command doesn't work and then he shows me a he or she shows me a command with a wrong spelling right that is the least that you can do is check whether your command is correct or not so 
I have cleared the screen. My command is still Django hyphen admin space start project space the name of the project. The name can be anything. In our case, please stick with the name that we are using, which is library underscore management. I press enter and it does a couple of things. I'll tell you what it does. Uh, So it has created a folder called library underscore management, right? Um, what you can do is you can use Windows Explorer to explore what the folder structure is like. Please do not follow these commands that I'm using. The commands that I'm using at the moment right now, the Django admin command is correct. The command that I'm using right now is not available to you. It is called the tree command, which is only available in Linux. I'm just showing it to you so that you can see what the folder structure looks like. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Shall I Hello. shall I say something? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Uh, these commands are not executing at my end. Okay. Uh, I created this Django project. Uh, okay. But when I try to create this uh, library management project, I mean uh, this folder, uh, it is not creating the way you had written at your end. Understood. So I think this should be something that quite a few folks will face. So we'll read. I, I'll sort of we'll we'll come back and sort of figure it out for all of you. Yeah. Give me a minute. Um, so what it does is this command basically just sets up a very simple project. This project will contain multiple directories and some certain files. You have the library management folder which is created on uh, as the top level. You have another folder which is created inside with the same name. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's fine. It works. It is legal to have folders with the same names inside each other. So the outer folder is basically the parent folder, but we will always be inside this parent folder from now on because that is where the manage.py file will be located, right? So whenever I tell you that you need to be in the folder where manage.py file is located, you need to be inside the library management app and you should be able to see that the manage.py file is there, right? You then have another library management folder which contains multiple files. There's asgi.py, which is an internal file, which is a which is a server application. Uh, this is this comes in handy when you're deploying the application on a server. You have the dunder in it dunder.py file, which is the initialization module for any Python module that 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 is being used. So this basically if this file is present. That means that the current folder is a Python module. You have the settings.py file. The settings.py file gives you uh, all the configuration and the settings that you need for your web application. I'll show you. I'll show you the file in more detail later on. You have the urls.py file, and that is the URLs that will be used to access your web application. So, slash home, slash dashboard, slash books, etc. And there's another wizgi.py file, which also is something that you need not be concerned about. It is also a server configuration file. So that is something that you do not need to worry about. You, we will not be making any changes to asgi and wizgi, right? Manage.py file is a file that you will be using often from now on. It is a command line helper. It has multiple commands associated with it. And you will be using those multiple commands to work with your Django application, right? Now, I'm sure that a lot of you will have similar problems like Dr. Kulkarni. So we'll first go with Dr. Kulkarni and try to see what the problem is. Can you, I'll stop sharing my screen. Doctor, can you please share yours? Okay, shall I share my screen? Yes, sir, please. Okay, just a minute, sir. Huh? I'm sharing. In the meantime, can people tell me in the chat whether they were able to run the Django space hyphen admin command? Yeah, I have shared, sir. Yeah. Yes, Here I can see Yeah. Just look at my screen. Great. Can you please maximize? Yes, thank you. Yeah. I will do the same thing. Yeah, this one. No. Uh, just one second. Can you please type in dir and just show me what the output is? Dir. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. a blank it's folder, no? So nothing Correct. will be there. Exactly. Exactly. Just making sure, sir. Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, can you run the command again? Django admin is not recognized. All right. Okay. 
virtual environment is active virtual environment is not active actually i think so yeah. we need to make sure that your virtual environment is active were you able to install django and everything before this yeah, yeah i did it for successfully yeah correct so can you close this one i need to close this one this terminal window just close it yeah yeah i'm closing yeah uh where are you right so you are supposed to be using this this terminal because this is where your environment is active the base that you see in brackets that is your virtual environment yeah. that contains your that contains your django installation so the django commands will always only be active there so, so i need to move to your django project first so i need to uh, include that uh, django project folder here in this terminal yes correct okay just a minute sir yeah i have done that now what i need to do right now what you need to do is you need to run the command that you are running so django hyphen admin django hyphen admin admin space start project with no spaces start project yes space library underscore management library underscore management yeah it should yeah it's it's it worked right so if you want to see the contents of what was created you can open it in your desktop and see it at your convenience the tree tree command etc will not work for you yeah so no need to try those avinash koran asks that we are creating the django project and we still have to be in base yes the base is a virtual environment that is active in parallel you need to be in a terminal that shows you the base on your extreme left if that is not showing up then you are in a new terminal which means that your django installation will not work there right i think this should solve at least a couple of other problems that folks were having but otherwise in case somebody is not being able to uh, sir i am not able to do yet can i share my screen yes uh, doctor if you could stop sharing your yeah i am stopping yes yeah, sir In sir i have one doubt connection also sir i have one uh, doubt correct yes uh, because right. normally we have created in the command prompt uh, these folders i mean generally whenever we create any folder uh, by default these files should not be part of uh, this library management folder uh, these files i mean where from these files came i mean that 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 thing is not clear so the files were created because you ran that start project command the start project command is responsible for creating those files when you say okay. you want to start a project every project needs these many minimum files by default otherwise the application won't work as usual And so when whenever we execute this command the whichever folder will be created that will have these files always yes okay at a minimum these will always be there because they are always required hmm. and they always need to be configured so uh so because you should not be you know spending time creating those they are automatically it's an automated process to help you just worry about your own important stuff Mm -hmm. right. uh, sir, I have shared my screen. Uh, that correct. I wrote that Django admin start project library management. Right. That open that. And uh, yeah, just give me a minute. I am just noting down the commands that I am typing because everybody in ten minutes time is going to ask me for all the commands in one go. So, right. So you get something called. Uh, ls not so that is when i try to oh, that is not there django admin after running django admin you got a blank prompt right ha uh, ha uh, yes. so instead in your case what you can do is you can go to desktop and view the, the folders by using windows explorer if you want to if you are hell bent on using the terminal you can use a command called dir so instead of ls you can use dir django project is the folder right yes Yeah, right. so now you have library management. You have multiple files inside okay. it. You have manage or PY, etc. So there, this one. Okay, okay. Correct. Uh, right. 
Vishnu has pointed out that he faced an error where it says that uh, the library management folder already exists, but the files are not created. Uh, Vishnu, can you please go to your desktop, open the Django project folder and make sure that it's not created? You can use your Windows Explorer and check. You need not use the terminal always. Uh, the terminal can be a, a confusing and a daunting place. Okay, then in that case, uh, I'll call you out on it. Can you please share your screen with me? And we can try to help you uh, if you if it's possible for you to share your screen. All right. Anyone else facing similar issues? Uh, again, like I said before, please understand that these steps are important. They're very essential. Any mix up in these steps at this point in time is going to cause larger problems later on. So you might as well get it sorted out now. Okay. Okay. Can you do a DIR where you are in your terminal right now? Okay. So it's there. Uh, can you close your Windows Explorer? Right. You have you have a folder on your desktop that I can see behind your terminal, which you are very nicely hiding behind your terminal. Can you open that? Okay. This folder is empty, but that folder is empty. Okay. Um, let's see. Can you type? Uh, okay. So can you tell me? Because I can't see clearly. You'll have to help me. Uh, can you tell me if the folder name in your terminal is the same as the folder name that you can see in front of you? Is it Django underscore project or is it Django space project? The one in your terminal, is that underscore or space? Right, I can see it better now. Thank you. So it's Django underscore project. See users Vishnu desktop Django underscore project. Okay. Uh, can you do PWD? Type in PWD. I think it works here. Enter. Is not a recognition. Okay. Uh, yeah, deleting and making it another making another project project folder is also works. But you'll have to uh, make sure that you're doing it right. Uh, it is very likely that the folder that you're opening in Explorer and the one you have here is two different things. So I don't know why that happens, but it's happening. Um, can you open your Windows Explorer, just your Windows Explorer? Right, go to desktop, open your Windows Explorer, click on desktop on your left. Right. Okay, there seems to be only okay. Okay. Right. Can you uh, can you close this Windows Explorer and open it again and try to see if you can run your Windows Explorer as, as administrator? Is there a run as administrator option? It won't it won't show up here maybe. Running again won't help because you already have the file. It's not a mistake with your command. It's, it's something to do with either the fact that these files are not visible to you in your Windows Explorer because you don't have the right permissions to see them. You can do one of the two things. You can follow what Smith has suggested. You can delete this folder, create a new one, and follow the steps again. Or what you can do is you can show me the uh, you can show me the start start menu, find Windows Explorer inside your start menu, right click, turn as administrator and then try to see again. Sometimes what happens is you as a regular user are not able to see certain files and folders. And because now you are creating these as an administrator, uh, it is invisible to the normal user. Right? So your terminal is an administrator, but you are a normal user. Anyway. Anyone else facing similar problems? Cool. 
okay so we are good to go on to the next step now what we have is uh what we have is if you hit dir you will see that there is a library management folder right and i already showed you that it contains a manager.py file right so once again we'll do cd space library management and press enter right in my case cd won't work it'll work it'll work for you it won't work for me so i will use no it'll work for both right my mistake sorry so star is pinned yes so basically you don't need the screen for this uh, i'll share my screen but you can use the cd command space library underscore management and you should be inside the library management folder by now okay uh, pretty straight forward i think everybody should be able to do it by now uh, right so we we'll move to the spider environment or the spider ui right so uh, the reason i told you to open the file uh, tab here is that now you can basically conveniently navigate through all the files available to you using the file navigator here so you click on desktop you click on django project you click on library management You click on library management again, and you should be able to see all the files here available, etc. So, again, just to clarify, uh, ASGI and WSGI are server setting files. URLs is a is a file containing all the URLs. Settings is a file. So now you can actually look at settings. So if you click on settings.py or double click on it, it should open settings.py for you in the uh, window on the left. and you should be able to see a lot of stuff in python code listed there please do not change anything this just to show you that this is a file that contains all the important settings for your django application what does it contain it contains for example whether this is a um, the secret key for your application um, it contains uh, the install default installed apps for django uh, it contains certain softwares called middlewares etc etc right so you can you will be able to see what the files contain please don't change anything if you change anything things will break and they'll break in in sir i bit i lost the connection so can you please tell me once you how to open settings.py if you don't know uh if you open the spider ide you should you should have something called the files tab on your right top right if you click on the files tab you will find something that is similar to your windows explorer so you should be able to see desktop you should be able to see django project and click on it You'll be able to see library management. Click on it twice, and it should be inside. Uh, and you can double click on settings.py to see what the file contains. Just to see, nothing more, right? Okay. So, uh, so you can now see the files in your spider IDE. So you can quickly move between files here in your spider UI. But to run your command, you can use your terminal environment. right so what is our next step our next step is now to create something called a django app now what is a django app we already know what a django project is a django project is basically an overall container that contains your whole web application in one place right but a lot of times uh, you have sub modules within your project right and django is built in a way such that uh, it is it is built on a principle called dry dry or dry stands for do not repeat yourself what that means is uh, it tries to give you a framework or a structure to build reusable modules reusable pieces of code so that you don't have to constantly keep repeating the same code in multiple projects right so what you can do is once you create a project you can subdivide your whole web application into smaller pieces so let's say you are building an e-commerce app or a library management app whatever you can divide it into sub modules so you can in your e-commerce app you can have an have a sub module called shopping cart you can have a sub module called billing you can have a sub module called user profiles 
or use of permissions etc etc and each of these sub modules can be created as a self contained django app an app is basically a reusable piece of sub module of your larger django project okay that is that is the only thing that you need to know uh, every django project will have to have at least one django app because your django app will contain uh, all the code that you are going to put inside your you know to control your application right so so we will not over complicate things we will not have multiple sub modules for our library management app because we want to keep it simple and teach you the basics we will keep only one single app right so let's see what our app is called because like i said i want to keep the naming convention consistent so i'll refer to my older application and the app is called library manager right the project is called library management your app is called library manager so how do you create a django app you now type in a command called python to run a python script you follow it by manage.py space start app space your app name your app name is library underscore manager right and press enter uh, it should it should do certain things and i'll tell you what they are but uh, just run this command i'll paste it in zoom and please wait do not change anything do not do anything different i paste in the command which is python space manage.py space startup space library manager library manager is the name of our app it could be any other app name right please run this only once do not run this again and again it will cause a lot of confusion only once run it wait don't do anything else run this command wait and obviously just let me know if it has worked for you or not how do you know it worked for you it didn't give you any error then it worked for you okay right so some folks have already mentioned that it works it says no such file or directory cool nice so sinidhi says it says no such file or directory it means that you are in the wrong place you are either not inside library management please go to library management so i told you remember we have to we have to go to library management using cd command then you have to run python manage.py command so first cd library management then python manage.py command right so cd library management Let me share then my screen I, once, just to I'm a bit confused. So let me stop sharing mine. You can share yours now if you want to. Right. So uh, where are you? You are in Django project. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to first use CD space library management. Go inside the library management app. Uh, sorry, you have to go inside the library management folder, and then run this command. Which is the command? The command is Python manage dot py start app library manager, right? I've pasted the command in the chat. I'll repeat the command again. One second. I've typed out the commands in the chat. Basically, you need to go to the right folder and then run the Python manage dot py command, right? So I'll start sharing my screen again. i'll repeat whenever i say that the command contains python manage.py please remember that you need to be in the folder called library management in your django project folder right because that is where your uh, that is where your manage.py file is located correct otherwise if you are in an incorrect folder your command will not work as expected right now let's see uh, what the Uh, what folders have been created so if you check your windows explorer or if you check your uh, spider files browser you will see that there is a new folder called library manager right so when was this created this was created because we ran that particular command and this is the app folder what does the app folder contain it again contains multiple files that have automatically been created 
and I'll tell you what they are. Uh, there's an admin.py file. So the admin file is corresponds to an admin dashboard interface that you get from Django. I'll show you what that is later on, but just remember there's a default admin dashboard interface that you get with Django. Uh, and if you want to customize that interface, you need to be able to edit and change this admin.py file. There's an apps.py file, which is a configuration file. You don't need to worry about it. There's a dunder in it, dunder py file, which is basically, again, like I mentioned, it, it makes sure that Python recognizes this folder as a module folder. Right? Then there's a directory called migration, which again contains a dunder init file. The migrations folder basically will contain something called database migration. Database migrations happen when you are making any changes to your database of your web application. We'll study this in a lot more detail later on, but just remember, once you've made some changes to your web application database, the changes need to be recorded somewhere so that the database is aware of what changes have happened. Those changes are recorded in a migration file and all migration files are stored in the migration folder. There's a models.py file. So when you're building a web application with Django, you're obviously going to have a backend database to store your information of your web application. The structure or the design of your, of your database will be defined inside this models.py file. It represents your database. Uh, there's a test.py file. So any Python program, any Python module, any Python program, it is always recommended that you write out tests. What are tests? Tests are basically scripts that you write to be able to make sure that your web application or your code is running correctly. If the test runs successfully, that means your web application is running correctly and it runs successfully. There's no issue in that particular module or code. Uh, we will not be doing it for now because we have uh, due to the time constraints, it is not possible to teach you exactly the science behind writing a test case. But the test scripts are located in the test.py. The views.py file is basically, it is the file that contains all your business logic. So all the, all the code that will be run when your application is run in the browser, uh, that business logic will go inside views.py file, right? So these files are automatically created. Uh, if you look at your spider spider uh, UI, uh, you'll see that the library manager is available here. If you scroll through the files, again, please do not change anything. Anything changed it could lead to disastrous results. If you just open it and see, there'll be certain code written there, but most probably it will be completely blank. Uh, there'll be pieces of code here and there, but otherwise it'll be blank, right? Uh, so, this is what you can do. Uh, so, what we've done till now is we've created a project and you've created an app, right? Now we want to be able to set it up so that it runs properly. So, what we'll do is uh, first of all, I'll switch back to my thing and ask if everybody was able to follow along till now. Have all the commands run properly? Were you able to see that the files were created? And were, were you able to follow along? Hello, sir. sir, I cannot see the files, sir. How to see? How to see is you can open the folder that you have in your Windows Explorer and you will see that the files were created. If you want to see the contents of the file, you can open your spider UI. And, okay, I'll open spider it. and you will have the files tab on your top right. In the files tab on your top right, you should be able to open your file path and be able to open the particular file, right? Hello, uh, sir. Are we... Yes, go ahead. Uh, sir, while running the Python manage.py start app library manager command, I ran the command, but it shows a command error that library manager name conflicts with an existing Python module and it cannot okay. be used as an app name. Okay. Uh, 
can you please make sure that library manager is not already created in your directory uh no sir it's not okay i think this is something that i need to keep in mind so the library manager now has become pretty common name uh can you please uh, just for your sake uh, i'm sorry for this i will try to make sure that you know i i keep in mind that you are the person with this particular chain you can change the name to library manager 2 1 2 something which will make sense uh, right? sir inside that library management uh, directory same there command. are two folders exactly listen exactly same command yes, just sir. the name library underscore manager add a one at the end add two at the end add a digit one digit two something like that and differentiate it from your default library that you have okay sir right and it should work please let me know once it works uh, yes, avinash sir, can you please share your screen okay couldn't import django cool uh let's see how did you run everything up till now and now you get this problem okay Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I did not found. Correct. So, can you tell me how did you manage to create the library management folder? Then, I'm I'm genuinely curious. This is not a this is not a sarcastic question. because you already seem to have your library management folder right does it contain all the files can you do dir correct can you go inside that can you go inside yeah yeah so you already created no no don't go anywhere sorry don't go anywhere i'm very sorry you already created your first command so that in that case how did you run that did you run it in a separate shell or something of that sort This is weird. No sir. Um. Okay. Hello sir. Oh, don't start anything with any name, boss. Oh. Please don't start the start our thing with a different name. Unnecessarily, you have to delete folders, etc. It will be painful. Uh. Can you? Can you close this and reopen your terminal, and we'll we'll try to work through it. Right, open terminal. Okay, wait for it. Nice. Now, can you please navigate to uh, the folder that is desktop, Django project, library management. You can do it all in one go. anyone else facing any weird issues like this or some other issue which you not yet discussed maybe hello sir or, yes uh, sir you told me to change the name of the folder i changed right. it but it is now showing the module not found error okay so we'll come back to you and give me a minute uh, okay now can you go to your django project folder no so you have some other name right django workshop is that the name correct uh yeah go inside library management and dir and can you now try the same command python manage dot py dot app library underscore manage okay so what we'll do it we will go with the simplest possible solution just run pip install django and we done with it
नाइस दिस शुड पॉसिबली वर्क अविनाश कैन यू we please let it install and we can come back to you later i need to make sure that the person who was speaking to me before this prashant right yes can you share your screen now please and we we'll try to see what is going wrong again sir i have uh, freshly installed means downloaded the source code again this is my library management folder and inside it i have these folders now i will open my terminal so you downloaded it from the code base that i gave you right yes sir Now can you so so don't do that uh, as in I need you to be able to work through the command because uh, that is the code that is available there is just for your reference so you'll have to run the three command codes that I gave you right so uh, you'll have to first run Django admin then go inside the library management app uh, the sorry the library manager folder and then after that you run the startup command so uh, delete this folder or keep it aside or keep it move it somewhere else create a folder called uh, django underscore project on your desktop then okay, start running these commands inside that particular folder uh, sir the wait a minute after the creating a new folder django project inside that what i have to do i typed in the commands in the chat so first is django hyphen admin command Yes, sir. Then uh, there's a cd space library management command. Then there's a python manage dot py command. All of those three, in one after the other, you can just run them, and you should be at the point where everybody is at right now. Okay, sir, I got it. Cool. Uh, yes, Avinash, uh, is is your problem sorted out? Okay, cool. No problem. Uh, anybody else still facing problems i i posted a quick review of the three commands that i used one is the start project one is the uh, moving inside the folder and the third is the start app command uh, these basically have now allowed you to set up a very basic simple uh, django application right now what we need to do is this. we need to run a few more commands to make sure that uh, we can so this is uh, this these two commands that we ran now start app and start project have set up the file folder structure for you but uh, going forward we also need to set up things like the database uh, a little bit of the backend etc so that it, we can actually run a sample uh, the sample web application in your browser right so what we'll do first is we'll go back to our terminals and i'll share my screen right so uh, exactly in the location where you are which is uh, which is inside the play inside the folder where manage.py is located you will now run the first command which is to set up your uh, database for the basic web application right so what happens is django in itself has some default app default apps contained inside it as a library which are used by django itself for basic functions like for example the admin interface that i talked about is a separate django default app which is available you have apps like session management etc and these are run by default apart from that we'll also have to set up the database so to be able to do that we'll have to do uh, we'll have to run the make migration command right so i'll type it out first run it then you can run it and then you can tell me what happened so python space manage.py so like i said manage.py is a very important file because it contains a lot of helper commands and we'll be using these mostly so this is the second helper command that i told you first one was start app second one is this make migration migration Migration. No changes detected. So that means uh, there are no database changes to be to be sort of recorded. 
let's run the manage dot py migrate command. Right. So first was make migration, which shows you no changes detected. That means there are no uh, database changes that have happened. But we still have to create a database. So in order to create a database, you'll have to run the migrate command. That is Python manage dot py migrate. Press enter, and it will give you a lot of text. Uh, it will give you a lot of output. Uh, and at the end, everything should say okay, okay, okay. And you'll have the cursor blinking back again. What this has done is this has created a new file called db dot sqlite three. If everything is work well for you, everything should show okay, and you should have this file displaying when you click when you hit dir, or if you see in your Windows Explorer, right? So, uh, so this is what sets up your uh, database. Your db dot sqlite three is a database file. It is uh, like the extension mentioned. It is using the SQLite three database engine. Uh, so you have multiple engines that you are aware of. There could be, for example, Oracle DB. There could be Maria DB. There could be MySQL. There could be Mongo DB. These are all SQL or no SQL uh, uh, engines. We are using the SQLite three engine, which is a file based database. Uh, it basically gives you one file which stores all your data as a as a You know, as a parsable SQL database in one file, and it is created within the same folder, right? It will all, it will, it will contain all the tables, all the columns, all the data that you will create from now on, and uh, it should be, it should be available to you in this file. Uh, you don't have to deal with the file itself. Uh, you can, you can, you can ignore it completely. But just to let you know that all of the database is contained within this file. So once created. Please do not delete or touch this file in any way. Uh, it's a binary SQL file, so it's it's going to be, um, you know, it is specific to the database. It's not good to touch or mess around with that, right? So what has this done? This has created a database. It has created all the default tables and columns that Django itself needs to store certain things like the user information, etc. You can see a lot of a lot of the. The the output gives you an idea of what kind of columns were created, just for your sake. Uh, and now what you will do is the third command that you will run is Python manage dot py run serve, right? So I'll paste the command. Uh, you don't need to do make migration because it will not give you any migration creation anyway. I'll give you uh, I'll give you the migrate command in chat. You can run that and let me know if it works fine too, right? So run this command, and it should run. It should hopefully give you a correct command, right? If migrate is done, then we can go on to the next command. Uh, Sinidhi, I'll come back to you if you have any issues. I'll just get done with one part so that we can we can sort of come back and revisit problems. But for now, uh, people who have Uh, people who are done with the migrate command, pretty simple, nothing to do. Uh, you just run it and it sets up your DB for you, all automatic, all magic. Uh, the next command is Python manage dot py run server. You press enter and you wait for it. Right? It will give you some output. It will say system check identified uh, the today's date and time. It will tell you that uh, there's a development server that has started on this URL. It will tell you quit server with Control C, so you can uh, you can quit it any time, and it will it will just wait. Okay, then not, nothing more will be displayed on the screen. This is correct. This is expected. Don't panic. This is what will happen. So your terminal is now locked up because your server is now running that terminal. All right. What you can do is you can copy this URL that you have here, 127.0.0.1 8000. And you can paste it in your browser, whichever browser that you're using, and it should open up your sample Django web page, which looks like this. It just gives you 
uh, a sample web application page, which is a default page that shows up once a default installation is done. It tells you that the install has worked properly and that you know your Django is ready for development, right? So the command uh, looks like this. It is python manage.py run server. Uh, where are we? Once you run this, your uh, terminal will be locked up because your server is ra already running. You'll have to you have to quit your server if you want control back and if you want to type things again. Don't do anything. Just run this command. Uh, copy paste this URL in the browser and we will be back with you because I'm sure that there will be some of the other issues that we can help you with. Right? Uh, I'll stop sharing for now. Uh, Srinidhi, can you please share your screen and let me know what's going wrong? Okay. Uh, yeah. So the problem is you are already one folder inside. You have to go up. Okay. So hit CD space double dot. Double full stop. Now run the same command. But you, what are you going to do? You're going to run the migrate command now, right? Manage.py space migrate. All right, all right. So now you have, if you hit dir, uh, you should be able to see that there's a db.exponent file. Uh, now you'll run the run server command. And you can copy that link 127.0.0.1, the full link, HTTP, so on and so forth, in your browser. Uh, or you can type it out if you can't paste it. I don't know. Uh, and you should be able to see something on your browser screen. Folks who folks who are able to see something, great. Folks who can't see something in your browser, please let me know. Sometimes some URLs go funky. So anyone, <clears throat> cool. So a lot of people are, are already getting it. I'd be more interested in someone who's not getting it so that I can help them. Can you please let me know? If someone is not getting it, right? Uh, yes, uh, I'll, I'll. What I'll do is I'll paste all the commands in one place in the chat or in a link and share the link to you. I'm still around this in, in case anyone has not got it or if it's not working. I'm just pasting all the commands in one place so that I can paste it in chat. There is your list of commands, uh, right? So the other important thing is also how to, uh, one is launching the server, the other is also getting out of it. So you can use control C or control Z, something that works for Windows may not work for Linux and the other way around. So for me, control C works. Uh, can someone please try control C or control Z and tell me if it works? Uh, you should be able to exit your, exit your server, right? Once you exit your server, your browser uh, will also your browser web, website will also not work, right? So just letting you know, this is how it works. You need your server running if you want to see something in your browser. Can someone please exit their server and tell me if, if which key combination works so that someone else can also use the same key combination? In terminal, I have typed control Z. It came back with a prompt again. Cool. So control Z works for Windows. Fine. Thank mm -hmm. you. Right, so Shivranjani is stuck at a point where the Django admin command does not work. Uh, first of all, just a, just a note of caution, please don't run these commands again, because then it will again mess up your folder structure. So please don't do that. Uh, there will be multiple nested folders and it will be a mess. Uh, but just otherwise, Shivranjani, can you please share your screen and I can help you along. You are not in the correct terminal. You need to be in a terminal that shows you base in brackets on the left hand side. Uh, the the terminal that you open using Anaconda. If you're using Django hyphen admin with capital D, capital D will also not work. You need small D. Yeah, hi, Ankit. Yes, hello. I just now, uh, yeah, just now installed the Django and it successfully installed. And okay. once I installed that, I created the folder Django project in desktop. Correct. Then after that, I'll give um, Django. 
start project dijango admin start project library management and again it shows uh, dijango admin is not recognized as an internal or external command correct so you once sure i created that, the are yeah, you once, sure that the d is not capital in the command should be small d small yeah yeah i used uh, small letter only okay uh my doubt is once i created the dijango project folder uh, if i paste anything in that folder uh, you should not be pasting in the so it should be only an empty folder yes okay but uh, i i'll get a dijan admin is uh, dijango admin is not recognized as an internal or external command correct so uh, mm -hmm. can you see base b a s e in brackets on the left hand side in your command line terminal command line terminal base yeah yeah is it visible yes uh, yes ankita in my prompt uh, base is visible correct can you please run pip again i'll list. give the command and uh, i need to run no one second can you please run pip space show space django i typed the command in the chat yeah yes please i have already typed the command in the chat let's go step by step first can you run the command can you see the command in the chat okay so for other folks this is about the end of the live session is in in general Uh, we already set up the python uh, django installation you also set it up to be able to uh, accept any new code and run it later on so tomorrow most probably we'll be looking at adding our own code and running that so that you can see the changes in our website um so we don't have any more live session as such there's nothing new that i'm going to tell beyond this point so in case you want to go back and follow the schedule to complete the rest of the modules we have the functions modules that is available on yaks and we have the modules module available on yaks which you have to complete before 5 o'clock or 5:30 today uh, so you folks can go ahead and uh, visit those modules on the yaks platform if Uh, if you're done with the steps for today, thank you. Sir, one more doubt. Uh, now yes. uh, we have come out of the server that uh, page, whatever app we have developed, right? If we want yes. to re-enter, re uh, then what are the steps again? I should do. Then you have to just uh, don't have to run all the commands again. You have to just go to the right folder containing manage dot py, which our folder. Library management. Library management. Correct. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. So just go uh -huh. to that folder in your command line, okay. right? And then run Python manage dot py run server. The last command that I gave you. That one only should be okay. Python manage dot py run server. Yes. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. Sir, sir, I cannot exit from the terminal, sir. Can I can I share one screen, sir? You don't need to share the screen. You can close your terminal if you want to. or you can type in control c or you can use control z if nothing works just close your terminal and uh, move on with the rest of the uh, module okay sir thank you so sibranjani did the command work or did it not work or yeah ankit just a minute just a minute ankit i will send the link which i got that okay Uh, just a minute. Sure. Sorry, the uh, yeah, kindly have a look on it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is the thing we got. Correct. So, at least in the screenshot, I can see that you are using capital D. So you also tried with small D. Okay. One second. You uh, so I I see in the screenshot that you did pip you did something called pip list. Did you do before that command where you got a large list of all the packages on top? Uh, okay, uh, I'll use the pip list. 
correct so in the fifth place can you can you one, one second one second just hold on yeah. in the fifth place can you see can you scroll up and see if there is django can you see django in the list at d cd d django project no no you mean that in the pip list command output okay yeah i so, have the dj and go yes i have i have okay sir one sec so this doesn't work mm. tango admin doesn't work right can you uh, so mm. do you have do you have anaconda installed yeah 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 i already uh, installed can you Can you please try this again? Can you close Anaconda? Okay. Open it. Open okay. it by using Run as Administrator option. Okay. Have you already, have you already done that or? Yeah, I already done done that. Uh, can you please try again? Close close the terminal. Close Anaconda. Reopen okay. Anaconda using Run as Administrator option. Okay. Then uh, again, I should open the uh, Anaconda Navigator. Then again, uh, from the beginning. I have to repeat it, the, right? And open the and open the the terminal. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, Ankita, I'll try. Yeah. Or uh, Ankita again, I'll try, but uh, I I'm getting the same thing, Ankit. Okay. Is it an admin? Yes. Is that internal or external right. command? Great. Right. Okay. Uh, one second. Uh, okay. Can you try? Um, So Django is installed for sure, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you run? I'll type out a command in the chat. Can you please run that? Yeah, one second. Ankit, one second. What did you say? Django is installed. Is Django installed? Uh, Ankit, PIP install. U D Django. Hyphen U D Django. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing you said, right? Yeah, please run that command again. Like run it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I'll share the link uh, again. I pick the photo no, so and you, I'll share the you, link. Did you run? Fine. Did you run the command? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I ran. Uh, it shows again. Uh, Come on, did it successfully install again, or did requirement? It... Requirement already uh, installed. Okay. Satisfied. Uh, I think. Can you try that command again? Just, just. I don't think it will work. But can you please try? Again, uh, PIP install. That's no. uh, that's a command you said, right? No, Django oh. hyphen admin. Django admin library management. Right. Oh, uh, which command? Uh, Ankit, uh, could you please uh, text or? Uh... The original command that was not working. Can you try that again? Django okay. admin admin space. Okay. Space. Start project space. Start, start project space a library underscore management. Is it right? That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Again, uh, I'll get the same thing, Ankit. Uh, this Django admin is not recognized. Okay. Can you try? I'll type out the command in chat. Okay, Ankit. Uh, Ankit, uh, could you please uh, open that link? Yeah, I'll send that image in the chat. So once I give the once I give the command again, the same thing I'll get. Yeah. Uh, Ankit, uh, could you please uh, open that uh, image? I'll share right. the chat message. Chat message. Yeah. yeah. No, so so this work. The, the, the last command worked correctly. So now, if you check, there will be a folder called library management. Uh, now, should I uh, give that uh, Dijan go admin uh, start project library management? Is am I right, uh, Ankit? Wait a minute. That command that you ran at the last last command that you ran worked properly. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. So now Correct. that part is done. The command that I gave you okay. was an alternate command to the original command, right? 
so for you okay uh, instead of django admin this command is working now okay you can you can okay. run the other commands i'll paste the other commands in the chat you can run those step by step okay i'll get each each command on new line is a separate command please don't run everything together cd library management is a one command right correct uh, ankit after giving the cd library management yeah then i yeah then i gave the python manage.py then okay. start app library manager correct after that python manage.py correct uh, then what is that migrate ankit so you did start app library manager correct yeah yeah then you yeah, need python to run python manage you need to run python manage.py migrate which is it creates the database then you need okay. to run python manage.py run server which will run the okay. test server okay uh, ankit finally i got a put the server with control grade something uh, i gave python manage.py run server Right. Then I get the message with the server with control break like that. Correct. So now go to your okay, browser then. and open that link that okay. I gave last link. Okay. If you open it in the browser, it will show a rocket kind of an image. That is a default image. That means your Django installation okay. worked properly. So you are done for the day. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ankit. No problem. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Yeah. Okay. Again, the session uh, tomorrow. The uh, yeah, okay. the session tomorrow starts at nine. Uh, okay. Same same like today, it will start off with pre-recorded sessions tomorrow, and we'll okay. have live sessions at okay. eleven o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Mega, can you please share your screen, and we can try to find out what is going on. Uh, the command should be Python manage our task very manual. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the command was not clear. Uh, if you can refer to chat, it is Python manage dot py space start app space library manager. Okay, there is space in between. Okay, fine.